Hi folks, Doyle Dykes here. I want to say what an honor it is to be a part of the launching of the new acoustic pedal. I mean, this is an amazing thing. To say I'm reviewing this is an understatement. I'm actually using this. I, I'm old school. I can't really uh, endorse anything unless I've tried it out. And I did. And I'm telling you, you have to do very little to it. And it sounds great. First thing I did was take this guitar out and I plugged it into this thing and oh my lord, top of my head came off. It, it, was, it was incredibly transparent, of course, but when you start adding bass and, and some mids and a little sparkle, woo, there it was. And so I'm very excited about this pedal, you can tell. When they say single-ended class A um, pre-amplifier, really what that means is uh, it's very ultra clean. I mean, it's ultra transparent. And that's hard to find in anything. Uh, years ago, I used to travel uh, all the way to California to record. And so I would go there and they, the, the, these, this one studio would bring in these MarTech uh, you know, they're pre-amplifiers and they're very expensive. You can still find them. But just to use them as an example, they boasted that, that, that they were the, as close to a, a straight line, just a straight wire, microphone, wire, recorder that you could get. It just And it just raised the volume. And that was basically what it did. And uh, it has, you have to have a lot of electronics in there that, for that to happen. And for it has to, the design of it has to be great. And so uh, all I can say is they accomplished that with this pedal because it doesn't color it unless you want to. And so when you have something that works and you have a pickup that's great, a guitar that's great, you don't want to do a whole lot to it. Eric Johnson said, he's a good friend of mine, he's a great guitar player from... Uh, from Austin, Texas, said, I, you know, when, when someone sends me a pedal, I'm more interested in what it doesn't do in the beginning than what it actually does. I'll listen to it and make sure, and I won't turn any of the effects on or whatever it does to make sure it doesn't mess with my tone. And so it's the same thing with this. And so I found out, no, it doesn't mess with your tone, but you can color it any way you want to and enhance it. And that's a great thing, especially when you have a guitar with no EQ. And then it also has uh, an inverter here or a phase for the XLR out. I've never had that on anything. And so, in other words, if you have a little bit of a feedback problem with a guy in the house, you know, if you're just running into the house, you just push that, you know, and it, and it reverses the, the polarity or whatever. It's actually a phase inverter. And so it, all I can say is it actually works. It also has a send to return with a buffered preamp, which means it just cleans up the chain. It just cleans up your pedals. I don't know how they put so much in here, but they did. And so when you have a buffered amp, it actually cleans up the, uh, the output and inputs of these pedals. And so you want them to sound good. We, they all have volume. And, and, uh, and when you get them all together, sometimes you, you get noise and that cleans everything up. It has the best midsection I've ever seen on any pedal for a guitar. I mean, it's like a parametric cut and, and boost and you find that notch Sometimes, it, and, and you can actually notch out the things you don't want and then boost in the things that you do want. And that really helps with the Q factor, is, which is a real fine tuning uh, uh, feature on here for, uh, for feedback. When you find that spot, that sweet spot, and then if there's any feedback problems at all, you can just kind of, you know, uh, narrow, narrow that band or you can widen it. And so it's a great feature has 18 volt power capability. Really what that is, is headroom. And you really need that on an acoustic preamp. Especially me, I, I think, because I I play so hard sometimes. I, I'm more orchestral. I play more like a, a, a piano player. And so you have to have headroom. 
a lot of uh, pedals would not work with uh, with an electric. They'd work with electric guitar, but they wouldn't work with an acoustic guitar because of the headroom, or they just didn't sound right. Uh, but this is 18 volts, so you have ultra headroom and ultra sparkle, very transparent. Folks, I love it. It's a great pedal. And so, guys, I'm very excited about this, and we're, I'm just going to have some fun. Hope you enjoy this uh, this presentation. God bless. Thank you.